Hi, welcome to Ingvid.com. I'm Adam. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of buying glasses, okay? Whether prescription glasses or regular glasses, some people need to wear them. You need to know how to go into a glasses store and buy yourself a good pair. So, before we do that, we're going to look at who you should talk to before you buy your glasses, okay? You can go to an optometrist, an ophthalmologist, and an optician, or any of these guys, okay? Or women. The, first of all, what's the difference between optometrist and ophthalmologist? An optometrist is sort of a doctor. I mean, I don't want to offend anyone who's an optometrist, but it's not a real medical doctor. These people go to university for a shorter amount of time, and they study a very specific or in very limited amount about the eyes. So they can do a vision test, they can check your vision, they can prescribe glasses for you if you need them. If you have certain diseases, they can prescribe medicine to correct it and drops and whatnot. An ophthalmologist is an actual medical doctor. He or she went to full medical school and then specialized in the eyes, okay, in eye medicine. This person can also be a, an eye surgeon if you need any work, especially if you have cataracts, things like that. So if you have very serious eye issues, you would go to an ophthalmologist. If you just need your vision tested and you need glasses, you can go to an optometrist. Now, an optician is the person who makes glasses, okay? He or she gets a prescription from the optometrist and creates your lenses and puts them on the frame, etc. Some opticians, some, some opticians also give vision tests, but it's highly recommended if you need glasses, go see an optometrist and buy your glasses from the optician. Don't get your vision test there necessarily. So now, what's going to happen? They're going to check your vision. If you have 20-20 vision, then you're perfect vision, right? You don't need glasses. Everything is fine. Basically, what 20-20 means, this is not your prescription number. This means that anything that is 20 feet away, you can see clearly with both eyes. If you're not 20-20, if you go below this, then they start measuring your eye, the curvature of your eye. Okay the curve of your eye and then they know where the light is going and hitting your cornea but we won't get into all the technical stuff <clears throat> and they'll give you a prescription. Now, some of you might be farsighted, some of you might be nearsighted. You, farsighted, you can see clearly far away. Nearsighted, you can see clearly something that's up close. Now, I'm not going to get into all the details because Ronnie, another teacher here on Ingvid, did a very good lesson on that. You can go check that lesson out. I'm going to concentrate on the glasses, what you need to know to buy them. So first of all, if you're buying glasses, keep in mind some people call them spectacles. This is a little bit old-fashioned, but some people still use it. And you should get a prescription. Oh, let me use the blue one here. Basically, make sure that the doctor gave you the exact number that you need for each eye, okay? Now, when you're buying glasses, you have to think about the lens and the frame. Now, if you're buying contact lenses that go right into your eye, you just go buy the prescription, you put them in your eye, no problem there. So when you're buying lenses, now there are different types of lenses. You can buy a bifocal. A bifocal basically, let's say this is the lens, you have two lenses in one lens and it's different focuses and that's why it's called bi. Trifocal will have three for close, for middle, for distance, okay? Or you can buy progressives. Now, I don't know exactly what progressives look like, but the idea is that they work for both far and nearsighted. The lens, your eye adjusts to the lens. It's built in a way that you can see in all directions, right? Anywhere you look, any distance, it will work and your eyes will adjust naturally and everything will be clear, okay? These are very good, a little bit expensive, but if you have different types of visions, you can get them all fixed in one shot. You can also buy transitions. Now, what transitions do, they adjust the tint. Okay, so this is a tint. This is the darkness. Basically, the lens becomes dark. So when you go outside and it's sunny, the, the lens becomes dark naturally. When you go back inside, the darkness goes away and they become clear again. So it's basically regular glasses and sunglasses in one lens. There's a certain chemical inside that adjusts to the light. Or you can just buy sunglasses. Now, 
be very careful when you're buying sunglasses, okay? Make sure that they have UV protection. There are a lot of cheap sunglasses that you can buy on the street or in the store, $10, $20, and they say UV protection, but be very careful. Most of them don't have it. It's just cheap plastic, it's dark. Now what happens if you don't have UV protection, the darkness opens up your pupil. <clears throat> yes, same word as student, but pupil is the black area, uh, the iris, basically the black area of your eye. It opens up more and more UV comes in. So if you're buying cheap sunglasses, you're actually hurting your eyes very much, okay? Make sure you have the UV protection. When you're buying sunglasses, transitions auto <coughs> excuse me, automatically come with it. Now, tinted glasses, they just put a coat, uh, basically a plastic coat of like a sunglass coat. Not good. Be very careful with those. Now, you can also get some features on your lenses. For example, anti-glare. Anti-glare, they're also called anti-reflective. What this is, is a special coating on the lens that doesn't let the light sit on the lens. So if you're wearing glasses and you see little spots of light from, let's say, light bulbs or the sun or whatever, this coating makes them not there. So everything is very clear. Another way you, you might see is polarized. Polarized glasses, especially sunglasses, basically remove the glare. So all you see is very clear what's in front of you without the little light spots on the lens. Now, next you have to think about your frame. This is more of a fashion choice, but it also has to be a, a, a question of uh, comfort, right? You can have frameless glasses or you can have rimmed glasses. So let's say this is the, sorry, let's say this is the glasses. This is the frame. Now you can have only the lens or you can have a rim that's holding the lens in like that, right? Both are available. It's a matter of choice more than anything else, okay? So rimmed with the frame, frameless, no frame, only lens. Then there are different styles, Aviator, Wayfarer, etc. You don't need to worry about these names. When you go to the store to buy your glasses, they will show you all the different styles. You try them on, see which one you like, etc. Make sure that they are sitting comfortably on the bridge of your nose. So this is the bridge of your nose. It looks like a bridge. Make sure your glasses are sitting comfortably. Most glasses these days are made of uh, plastic. The lens is made of plastic. Glass is too heavy. It sits on the bridge and for many people it gives them a headache because the weight <coughs> squeezes. Now, frames come in metal, in plastic, or titanium. Titanium is very, very lightweight. Ultra lightweight, we can say. I'll put it here. Ultra lightweight means super light. You don't even really feel them. So those are very comfortable, but again, more expensive. And then you have your contact lenses again as you need. So if you need glasses, like for example, I'm getting a bit older now. I need reading glasses or I will soon enough. I need to go and make sure that I get the right glasses for me. Make sure you get the right glasses for you. You're going to have to wear them every day. Make sure they're comfortable. Okay. If you have any questions about this, please go to ingvid.com. You can ask your questions there. You can also take the quiz and test your understanding of this vocabulary. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and come back for more helpful videos uh, with all kinds of topics. Okay, I'll see you again soon.